Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and it is the first Tuesday of July. New regulars know what that means. Yes, it's Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. On top of that, it is also the day where we get free Unreal Engine stuff. Every two weeks, Epic Games gives away three free assets. This uh, bye week is no uh, exception. This is the first character, and I gotta say, the arrows are always so inappropriately positioned. I do not know why that is the case, but that is just that always turns out that way. So this one is uh, a very modular character. You can see a variety of instances of her around the scene. And then you can see she's made up of a variety of different outfits, etc. A uh, bit of weird lighting going on here. A number of different instances of it. And this is a fully animated character. By the way, you have two weeks to pick these up. Once you've purchased them, they are yours to keep forever. They cost $0 for now. I'll show you the store in just a second. By the way, I exported this one out using the Unreal to Godot Engine plugin. There are a number of guides for how you can get these into other engines. Here, for example, is that asset with animations. So there she is with her walk animation. It has a number of animations attached, by the way. So here is an idle animation. So there you go. So you can get these out into other engines. So even if you aren't an Unreal Engine user, you should be hoarding these every week. Keep adding them to your cart. Keep checking out. Keep building your hoard. My hoard is gigantic at this point in time. So this one is pretty straightforward. There is some blend shapes for doing uh, facial animations, a number of character animations, etc. So that is Sarah. Next up, we have this one over here, which is the Sky Town. This is probably the bell of the ball uh, in terms of what we've got here. Let's go show the demo map. This is a um, kind of a medieval town townscape but it's it's flying so pretty straightforward again probably the prettiest asset we have in this particular bundle so let's just turn game mode on and take a look around town so uh, a number of uh buildings and so on uh somewhat interiors on them uh a slightly stylized art style we've gotten a lot of giveaways in this style we also again have some laundry and laundry lines going on uh creek uh animated trees with particle effects uh, and then we go on up over here, and we have some uh, statues, and, and uh, I think that's a shrine of some form. Yeah, a shrine uh, with a big bell. And as you can see, we are flying. So if I, I head on over here, you're going to see everything is more or less floating around the world. And I do believe that this entire thing itself is an island sort of shaped like that one. But I don't think I've ever actually zoomed out far enough to find out. So here we go. So that is Sky Town. Again, probably the prettiest asset we've seen in this particular bundle. Let's go take a quick look at the overview map and get an idea of the modular assets that go together to make this one. And there we go. So once again, all these things can be exported out to other engines. Do be sure to check the guides down below, regardless of what engine you are working with or if you want to get into Blender or whatever. You can see there's a lot of stuff that goes together here. So you got fireworks and, sorry, firewood, logs, pottery, barrels, boats, some statues. And then all of the buildings, the modular pieces to build a variety of them. And then terracing, etc., to put on the outside. And then we've got these, uh, what are they called? Moats? Uh, anyways, the uh, the floating island bits, the bridges to hook them together, and so on. So again, nice straightforward asset. And then we've got one final asset. This one is entirely blueprint driven. I'm going to try to demonstrate it to you because, quite frankly, uh, it has not worked out great for me so far. This is the interactive inventory system. And let's just load up the demo map over here. All right, showcase, load that one up. So this is an inventory system. You can see by the descriptions over here what it ultimately should do. So here you press E to pick up the item in question, I to open up your inventory, and then you get a menu to go ahead and drop things. Uh, and then we've got the ability to combine items together. Uh, you can move things around in your inventory. Uh, set shortcut keys to things. So basically, if you have an inventory system, this handles everything that you need. Uh, and then there's a couple more demos over here, different equipment groups, uh, the backpack for handling things, increasing inventory size, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and run this, but I just got to admit, I haven't had great luck with it. I don't know if it's because I'm using 5.5 or whatever, but uh, let's go ahead and open this door up. So over here is the description. As I get closer to it, there's going to be a polygon that obscures it. And there, I, like, I don't know that slow down and then this polygon shows up. So I don't know what's going on with this demo, but it's done it every single time. But you can do E to pick things up like so. And then if I do I, it brings up the inventory system and then you can grab, so you can make shortcuts, quick shortcuts there or fast shortcuts to things as well. If I click something, I can go ahead and drop it like this. We can move things around in the inventory like so. So if you need an inventory system for your game, that's pretty much everything that this is providing. Uh, and 
pretty straightforward. So for some reason, this, this demo itself has a tendency to, there, there we go. So uh, I hit shift, I started walking, and then this white polygon shows up again. So it's something wrong with this demo, but you get an idea of what's behind the scenes. This is a blueprint-based system for creating uh, and managing inventory systems. So that is the hands-on portion. So again, these are all available on FAB. By the time you see this video, the price will be knocked down to zero. I've already got it in my library, so you're not seeing the price here. You'll get a choice between standard and pro. Um, there's not really a difference. It all comes down to if you were buying it yourself, how much money you'd have to spend. Epic Games is paying for it. So, hey, might as well get the professional version. This was the first character. This is Sarah. Pretty straightforward modular character for a number of different outfits, etc. Fully animated. You'll notice this one is also available for Unity. So you can come in here uh, and download it for Unity. Uh, basically, just come on in here, download, and then you could pick and bring it down as a Unity package if you wished as well. Uh, then the other one we've got here, again, probably my favorite asset here is the Flying Fantasy Town. This one is for Unreal Engine only. But once again, you can export these out to other engines. So uh, keep hoarding. No matter what you're doing, hoard these ones. Very, very cool asset, but straightforward in terms of what it provides. And then finally, we have the inventory based or the blueprint based inventory system. Again, the actual demo for this is a little problematic, but you'll notice here it was last updated uh, in 2024 and I'm using uh, 5.5, which was released, I think, since then. So maybe it's just a version thing. Um, so just something to be aware of, but it does a number of different uh features available in terms of inventory management and so on. If that's what you need for your game, that is what this provides. All these are available over on Fab. Head on over to Fab. You're going to notice Fab actually got a bit of a facelift. Uh, head on down here. You'll find the limited time free. It will be updated to show the three that we just had. Just come on in to them, add them to cart, add them to cart, add them to cart, check out, and then they are yours to keep forever. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of this month's freebies and happy Canada Day? All right, that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.